Who's the cutest robot? Robbie is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Robbie's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's see. and lots of little prickly spikes on its back. Those itty bitty spikes are called spines and they help the hedgehog protect itself. <laughs> Who would dare touch those spines, right? <laughs> Be careful, Roby. The spines are pointy and sharp. Whenever a hedgehog senses danger, it'll curl up into a ball and use its spines to protect itself. <laughs> You can make a great hedgehog, Roby. Are you counting the hedgehog spines? Okay, but it might take you a while. Because hedgehogs have thousands of spines. I'm not sure you have the time for that. I have a better idea. Do you want to see something really cute? These cute things are itty bitty baby hedgehogs. <laughs> and don't worry about the prickly spines. When hedgehogs are born, their spines are super soft. <laughs> when hedgehogs are babies, their mommies feed them just like human babies till they're old enough to feed themselves. <laughs> And when hedgehogs grow up and become big hedgehogs, they like to spend time by themselves. And if they ever get lonely, they hang out with their friends and family. See? I think they're getting hungry. Want to see what the hedgehogs eat? This is how hedgehogs look for their food. Using their long noses, hedgehogs sniff out food. <laughs> Have a good lunch, Mr. Hedgehog. Look, it's Harriet the Hedgehog. She looks in a hurry. I think Harriet is running home, Roby. Hedgehogs live underground in holes or tunnels. During the daytime, hedgehogs like to hang out in their homes, keeping away from the sun. At nighttime, when it gets dark, they leave their homes and get to work. Nighttime is Hedgehog's favorite time to look for food or gather twigs and branches to build their nests. And for you, Roby, nighttime is bedtime. Let's let the hedgehogs do their work while we get ready for bed. Good night, Roby. <laughs> Let me introduce you to a new friend, a giraffe. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world. Even zebras look itty bitty next to giraffes. That's right, Roby. Giraffes have long legs and long necks. Being tall helps giraffes reach all the way to the top of tall trees to get their favorite food. It's silly, Roby. You can't do that. Only giraffes can. That's how they get to eat their favorite food, leaves on top of the trees. And since no other animals are as tall, giraffes get to eat all the leaves they want. 
Giraffes even have long tongues that help them lick the leaves right off the trees. Imagine a giraffe licking your face like that, Roby. Sometimes being tall isn't so great. When there are no tall trees around for giraffes to get their leaves, they have to eat something else. Do you know what they eat instead? Grass. Giraffes have to bend their long necks all the way down to the ground to eat the grass. And that can be a pain in the neck. <laughs> Do you know what's even harder for giraffes than eating grass? Drinking from a pond. They have to bend their long legs to do that. It takes a lot of work. Just watch. Look at this baby giraffe. Yeah, this is a baby giraffe next to his mom. He sure is big for a baby. Baby giraffes are called calves, and they're this big when they're born. Bigger than most grown-ups. And just like babies, Calves love drinking milk from their mommies. Giraffes are really nice, too. They love spending time with their family and friends, having fun together. Would you like to be friends with the giraffes? Okay, Roby. I think they like you, too. Are you ready to see something really awesome, Roby? Every giraffe has its own special spots. Yeah, check it out. No two spots are the same. Every giraffe is unique, just like you, Roby. Unique means that you're special and there's no one in the world like you. Of course you're unique, Roby. And I'm lucky to have a special friend like you. Time to say bye-bye to the giraffes. You want to play too, Roby? Good, because these are funny, furry little friends who love to play. They're called foxes. Quiz time, Roby. Can you tell me what other animal foxes look like? That's right, Roby. Foxes look like dogs because dogs and foxes are from the same family. Yes, Roby. Just like cousins. Foxes love family. They live together with their family so they can take care of each other. Just like us, foxes have mommies who take care of their babies. And when baby foxes make a mess, mommy fox has to keep them clean. Bon appetit, Foxy! See this fox's nose, Roby? It's long and pointy to help the fox sniff out food. I see you're hungry too, Roby. But I don't think you want to eat what the fox is eating, Roby. Foxes have big ears. Those big ears help them hear tiny noises from far, far away. Do you hear something from far away, Roby? Then let's check it out. Good ears, Roby. You heard the foxes digging in the ground. And hey, look at this fox jumping. Where did he go? He went home to his burrow. Sometimes their burrows are up high above ground. Burrows are just like houses. It's where the foxes keep their food, sleep, and hang out with their families. Good thing you brought a flashlight, Roby. Foxes love nighttime. It's when they go out and play and eat from their mommies. Yes, and they rest mostly during the day. Let me show you. Be very quiet, Roby. 
After a long night of playing with their families and looking for food, these foxes are taking a nice nap. Shh, Roby. He's sleeping. You want to play with the foxes some more, Roby? Come with me. Here you go, Roby. Some fluffy foxy friends ready to play with you. Have fun playing, Roby. See you next time. Be careful, Roby. Don't be scared, Roby. This is just a dog, and he's wagging his tail from side to side because he's happy. Are you happy now too, Roby? Most dogs love people. Some say that a dog can be your best friend. Look at all these dogs, Roby. They come in so many different shapes, sizes, and colors. There are small dogs and big dogs like this. Some dogs have really short hair. And some have really long hair like this. Poor Shaggy Dog can't see because he has so much hair covering his eyes. Even though dogs look so different, they're also a lot alike. Dogs have a very good sense of smell. They use their noses to find things they need. Like food. Dogs love to eat. And eat. And eat. All that eating makes dogs thirsty. Dogs have big tongues they use to get the water into their mouths. Good idea, Roby. You can use a straw to drink. Dogs also have super hearing. See, Roby? The dog can hear you from all the way over there. That's a dog barking. Barking is a dog's way of talking. <laughs> Good try, Roby, but I think we should leave the barking to dogs. Dogs are also super friendly. Look how happy this one is to see you. And remember how we know when dogs are happy? That's right, Roby. They wag their tails from side to side. And what makes dogs really happy is playing. They love to play with each other and with people. Yeah, and with Robies, too. Look at these baby dogs, Roby. Aren't they cute? Do you know what baby dogs are called, Roby? They're called puppies. And like little babies, they love to play. And also like babies, puppies spend most of their time with their mommies. Their mommy gives them lots of milk so they can become big and strong. After a long day of playing, it looks like this dog needs some rest. And you need some rest too. There you go, Roby. Have a good night. <laughs> Who's the cutest robot? Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's Looks like you're ready to ride, Roby. Do you know what animal this is? That's right, it's a horse. 
Horses are some of the biggest and most beautiful animals in the world. And did you see that, Roby? It's the horse's mane. A mane is the name of the hair on the horse's head. Your mane is beautiful too, Roby. Horses have four big strong legs that support their heavy bodies and help them run really fast. Horses love to run. Look how fast they are. That's called galloping. Let's race the horses, Roby. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Roby. Horses are some of the fastest animals in the world. That's a foal. A baby horse. It's only been a few hours since this foal was born, and already he can stand up and walk. And in just a few days, a foal like this will be able to run with his friends. But even though foals can run with their friends, they still love staying close to their mamas. And just like babies, foals love to drink milk. Lots of milk. This little guy's hungry. And I see you're hungry too, Roby. Bon appetit. Don't be scared, Roby. That's just the horse name. A neigh is the sound horses make when they want to talk to each other. That's it, Roby. I think the horses heard you. When horses aren't running and playing, they're eating. Their favorite food is grass and hay. Hay is for horses, not Roby's. Horses are very friendly and love spending time together. I'm sure the horses would love to be friends with you, too. <laughs> and do you know how they show their love for their family and friends? <laughs> they help keep each other clean. It looks like you're ready to ride, Roby. Okay, go have fun with your new friends, Roby. Giddy up! Hey, where's everybody running to? This funny animal is a chicken, Roby, and these are her little chicks. Chickens live together in groups with their family and friends. That red thing on their heads looks pretty funny, doesn't it, Roby? It's called a comb. That comb is too big for you, Roby. Look out! Roby, are you okay? Combs help us tell male chickens and female chickens apart. I'll show you. Male chickens are called roosters, and they have big combs and really long tails. Female chickens are called hens and have smaller combs and shorter tails. That's how we tell them apart. Wow, did you hear that sound, Roby? That's the rooster crowing. Roosters make loud noises like this to let the other chickens know it's time to start the day. Like an alarm clock. That's a good crow, Roby. You're just like a rooster. Do you know what this hen is doing? She's laid eggs and she's sitting on them. And look what comes out of the eggs. A little chick. When chicks come out of eggs, it's called hatching. Even though the chicks have hatched, they enjoy staying underneath their mom where it's comfy and cozy. I don't think there's room for you underneath this chicken, Roby. 
sorry. And when they grow up a little, chicks follow their mommy everywhere she goes. Do you know where they're going now? To eat lunch. Their favorite food is seeds. The seeds are for the chickens, Roby. Chickens don't have hands like us, so they use their strong beaks to eat. Roby, you don't have a beak. All chickens are covered with feathers, Roby. And they come in many different colors like brown, white, and black. Feathers protect the chickens and keep them warm. That's right, Roby, just like a woolen hat. It's okay, Roby. The roosters are only playing. But don't get in their way. Their beaks are sharp. You want to play with the chickens some more, Roby? Okay, you can play for a few more minutes. is called a lion. Lions are big cats. Very big. And here's another big cat. But this big cat is called a lioness. It's a girl lion. They look alike, but there are a few things that make them different. Look at the lion's fur. The lion has beautiful fur around his head called a mane. The lioness doesn't have this mane. And the lion is also bigger than the lioness. These little lions look like kittens, but they're called cubs. And they live with their mothers. The lionesses take care of their cubs all day long. I think this cub is looking for his mama. Can you help him, Roby? We found the mama. What a happy family. Just like kittens, cubs love playing together and sometimes getting into trouble. Look out, Roby. That was close. Can you guess what the lions are doing, Roby? They're licking themselves. But do you know why? It's their bath time. Lions don't use water to bathe. Instead, they lick themselves to keep clean, just like big cats. <laughs> Lions help each other keep clean, too. In the Lion Kingdom, they help each other stay clean. See? But you know what lions like to do best? They love relaxing in the sun. It looks like that lioness is getting tired. Be careful, Roby. You don't want to get near those teeth. Her teeth are big and sharp to help her eat. But don't worry, she doesn't eat Roby's. <laughs> Look at these flies, Roby. They're annoying, but they don't keep the lions from getting their sleep. Lions always find a way to rest because they need about 20 hours of sleep every day. Ooh. Lions love sleeping so much that they'll even climb a tree to find some quiet time. <sighs> it looks like our day with lions made you tired too, Roby. I think we should act like lions and find some quiet time too. Bye bye lions, get some rest. <laughs> Look, someone just climbed the tree. Do you know who it was? That's a monkey, Roby. Look at him climb. You can fly, Roby. You don't need to climb like the monkeys. 
Monkeys come in all different colors and sizes. Some monkeys are brown. Some are black and white. And some have red heads. Look at this one. Monkeys look a lot like us. They have eyes, a mouth, and a cute little nose. They can hold their food just like us and even stand up. <laughs> I don't think you want to eat that, Roby. Monkeys love fruit, too. Monkeys also love to eat leaves and pods that fell off the trees. And monkeys have something we don't. That's right, a tail. The tail helps them balance themselves and climb trees. <laughs> you should practice, Roby. They're really experts when it comes to climbing. Even baby monkeys can climb really well. Look, Roby. These little guys sure love to play, just like in kindergarten. You want to play too, Roby? Maybe another time. Just like us, the monkeys love to be with their families. Together they play, relax, eat, and have lots of fun. Look at this baby monkey. He's so small. He just loves being close to his mommy where he feels safe. Looks like fun, right? See the hair this monkey has on his body? It's fur. All monkeys have it. It keeps them warm and protects them. Just like clothes. And what about cleaning? They clean each other and take out all the dirt from the fur like this. Monkeys love to have company. That's why they all eat at the same time. You better hurry, Roby, if you want to catch up with the monkeys. Bye-bye, Roby. See you soon. The cutest robot. Roby is a name. Making friends with animals. That's Roby's favorite game. On land and in the sea, in deserts in that tree. Who wants to play with Roby? Me, me, me. Let's see. What you doing? This is an elephant, one of the biggest animals in the world. Hey, Robbie, how many legs do elephants have? Let's count together. One, two, three, and four. They use their legs for walking and standing. Dancing? I don't think elephants dance, Robbie. That's the elephant's head, Robbie. Elephants have a big head with two eyes, a mouth, and a nose. Where's the elephant's nose, you're asking? Well, it's that very, very, very long thing moving from side to side. It's called a trunk. Look out, Robbie! Elephants use their trunks for everything. Yup. Almost 
everything we do with our hands, an elephant can do with its trunk. <laughs> Elephants use their trunks to eat. See how he picks up the grass and puts it in his mouth? I don't think you want to eat that, Robbie. Elephants also use their trunks to drink water. Are you thirsty too, Robbie? Why don't you have a drink? Oh, looks like you need to clean off. Elephants also use their trunks to bathe. <laughs> Elephants also keep cool by waving their big, big, big ears back and forth like a huge fan. Hey, baby elephant, would you like to play with Robbie? Aw, he has to go home with his mommy. Baby elephants live with their mommies in big groups until they're old enough to live alone. It's getting late and the elephants have to get their sleep. I think it's time for us to go home and get some sleep too, Robbie. Good night, elephants. Good night, Robbie. <laughs>